everyone and welcome to uh, another video on this channel today i am here for a very exciting first of all book haul a book unboxing i guess discounts also just to tell you guys a book that i read that i didn't film on video and also to talk about my reading plans for 2023 this year went by a lot of fast first of all i want to talk to you guys about the book that i read that i didn't like film any reading vlogs for or anything like that i started and finished reading uh, normal people by sally rooney this book i gave it a three out of five stars on good reason if i'm not mistaken it was just a very like okay book even though i could relate to the characters i could relate more to Cornell because like his description of like anxiety and how like he would misinterpret situations or not say what he exactly feels uh, because of his anxiety I could relate to that a lot so give me that sense of like yes I, I can relate to this but at the same time I don't think the story was like that exciting like I, I think the characters were okay uh, but the rest I was just like why am I reading this mostly especially because um, the ending doesn't really have a conclusion that it's like that anything is happening which makes sense because like I mean this book is called normal people um, this happens a lot in real life but I expected some kind of like resolution at the end whether there would be them deciding not to be with each other anymore or them deciding that they're going to be together like I just wanted a, re a resolution where that would be a positive one or a negative one I just wanted something and it didn't exactly happen if you guys have heard the title everyone just want to read it for the sake of reading it uh, I recommend it but I don't think it's anything that exciting that's why I gave it a 3 out of 5 it wasn't anything out of this world but it wasn't anything bad either and now we're going to move on to the book that I am currently reading or I guess the series that I'm currently reading uh, yesterday or two, day two days ago I started reading The Cool Prince um, by Ollie black uh, I am now on chapter about to start chapter 14 I've been enjoying the story as it is I write like I said I read the blurbs in the back of the synopsis and from what I understand this is not gonna be a romance which like I would honestly prefer that there would be absolutely no hints of romance and it was just purely like we have to do this together for the sake of doing this together and we're not gonna fall in love in the middle and then like break our hearts and then fall in love again and then break our hearts again <laughs> That's annoying to me. I would rather them just purely hate each other, but having to work together rather than like working together because they think they love each other. Do you know what I mean? For now, I'm enjoying it. Uh, the world building is like okay. I don't think it's anything like too uh, crazy, but uh, I've been enjoying the book as it is. Uh, I also have uh, The Wicked King right here. Um, then uh, I also have The Queen of Nothing. Uh, I have all three. I, I've already showed these two in like a, a previous haul. I'm very excited to uh, read this series and this is definitely like one of my goals for I guess 2023. Moving on to other books that you guys haven't seen because I received these recently. Uh, there were other books that I wanted. One of them being uh, Glad My Mom Died by Jen McCarthy. Uh, this book is a lot bigger than I was expecting. It's also the only uh, hardcover book that I have and that I have bought um, so uh, this is what it looks like oh, without the jacket it's just is very very well oh, just a very very beautiful like pale yellow um, and he just says I'm glad my mom died and then Janet McCarty this book is very very pretty and I'm very very excited to read it very excited to read like I said I'm never gonna be annotating this one simply because I, I cannot resist it's hardcover I, I, I have to I have to so I'm very excited to start reading as well uh, a lot of people have said a lot of good things about this book and um, yeah I've seen a couple of bits from like our interviews talking about the book as well so I'm very excited to um, read this one and um, I bought this book for a video, not simply because I, I wanted to read it, but because I'm gonna make a video about it. Uh, I bought and I have Aiden's With Us by Colin Hoover. She writes mostly romance and I'm not really into romance that much. I, I've been reading a lot of fantasy and just like supernatural stuff and I've been really enjoying those books a lot. I feel like there's a lot more to talk about rather than just like plain old boring romance. Uh, I have no idea what this book is actually about. I have no idea what the story is about, which is a feat considering that everyone on fucking TikTok is talking about this book. But um, like I said, I'm gonna make a video about it. It's gonna be like first time reading Colin Hoover or call, reading Colin Hoover for the first time. And I picked it and with us because it's the book that most people talk about. Talk about. So um, I'm also slightly excited to see what what, what is this is all about. Another uh, book series that I really really want to read and it was also like recommended by my friend. So uh, I bought the whole set of the uh, Shadow and Bone series by Leigh Parduco. I, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I apologize deeply. But 
Uh, these are three books in the series. It's the Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. Like I said, it has three books. And first of all, I really, really like the this has the um, like the case, I guess. But I really like the covers of these books. They're very very pretty. This is um, Shadow and Bone. I also have no idea what this series is about. Um, Siege and Storm. Oh my god. And uh, Ruin and Rising. I'm much like a child. These books like shine a lot, so when I think see, see things shining, I'm like, oh, pretty, I like it. I have another series, like there's one more package that still hasn't arrived, so. And then we have this package, which arrived today. These books arrived like a couple of days ago. This one I'm also very excited about. It was very like random why I wanted to uh, purchase this, but. I bought uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Uh, this is a classic that I'm very excited to read. What happens with most classics is that I don't actually know what they're about, so they never actually interest me that much. But I think, I don't know, I think it was Thrones and Pages. I think it was her. Um, that she talked briefly about like um, the actual story of this book. It follows Dorian Gray who, enthralled by his own exquisite portrait, exchanges his soul for eternal youth and beauty. Influenced by his friend Lord Henry Wotton, he is drawn into a corrupt double life, indulging his desires in secret while remaining a gentleman in the eyes of polite society. Only his portrait bears the traces of his depravity. This definitive edition includes a selection of contemporary reviews condemning, condemning the novel's immorality. I'm very excited. The last like um, two classics that I read was *A Pride and Prejudice* and *The Great Gatsby*, and I really, really enjoyed both of them. So I'm very excited to see what this one is like. I also really like this edition, this um, edition, like the Penguin Classics edition. I think it's very like simple but very, very pretty. So I'm very excited to read it as well. I know this is a very like <laughs> random selection of books, you know, fucking *Shadow and Bone* uh, and. Oscar Wilde and then fucking Colin Hoover and then like an autobiography and then even more fantasy but these are books that um, they were kind of like in my wish list for a very long time I still have other books in my wish list but right now I'm excited that I have these as it is so I'm very excited for this I also have a lot of like exciting ideas for 2023 which is also what I want to talk about first of all for 2023 reading goals I really want to finish like I said the Folk of the Air series which is these three books obviously um, read all of these um, this is going to be my goal for 2023 meow 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 indeed other goals that I have though I really really want to read um, the Harry Potter series I still have no idea how I'm going to navigate that as in like how do I buy that because I don't want to buy directly like the Harry Potter series because I'm not really in the mood to support um, J.K. Rowling um, so like I may or may or not technically gotten the book um, as an ebook from a totally legal website so I'm tempted to just kind of like read it like that instead of buying the physical books or uh, another option that I have is to buy the books like secondhand it's also a book that I really want to annotate heavily um, like the Harry Potter books all the Harry Potter books because obviously I watch the movie so there's gonna be a lot of comparisons and I want to write a lot in those books so I don't really mind if they're secondhand videos that I want to do next year I definitely want to read one of those like 24 hour reading challenges not 24 hours straight because I'm not one of those people who can like stay up all night and be fine na 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 bitch I need to sleep at least seven hours in order for me to function properly or at least like sleep <laughs> I cannot stay awake for 24 hours I never did and never could uh, if I stayed I've stayed up late I've stayed up until like 5 a.m. 7 a.m. but I need to sleep like right afterwards 2023 i'm very excited for all the books i'm gonna read um like i said i already have some plans for videos and i'm gonna show you guys the books that i bought and i'm gonna show you more when the other package arrives I hope you guys are excited for this channel as well i don't think um, my content next year is not gonna be just about books that are at least like i already have at least like two trips planned and they're very exciting trips um one within my own country and one like outside of the country with a friend so i'm very excited for that um those are already planned maybe next year i'll finally you know go outside touch some grass do more outside vlogs instead of just stay inside a house like i've done um almost all this year so yeah i just want to do a lot more so let's hope it comes true so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can follow me on social media if you want to uh and i'll see you guys the next time you decide to watch another one of my videos